So in May, 3rd Wing was notified that the 90th Fire Squadron with the 90th AMU are going to be deploying to UCOM. A lot of work went into getting the team ready, getting the jets ready, and getting out of town. Ultimately arrived here the uh, beginning of August with the intent to be here for two months. The trip got extended to uh, about four months. Initially, we were supposed to go to Spangdalem Air Force Base, and that was changed last minute to come to Wasp Poland to be on the eastern flank of Europe, which is one of the main reasons we're here. Initially, we're tasking this NATO air shielding mission. Our main focus has been on assuring NATO forces and integration with our NATO and allied partners. Since we've been here, there's been a lot of engagements with the civil leaders in Poland as well as outside between going to Norway, Netherlands, and Greece. Reported air shows in Slovakia and flybys in numerous cities in Poland for various anniversaries and significant events to the Polish government. Hosted visitors on base, including the U.S. Ambassador to Poland, Prime Minister of Poland, and the Deputy Prime Minister for Defense for Poland, as well as numerous media days with media participation from around Europe. We tried to execute ACE. That was one of the main objectives that PACAF has been doing a lot of. USAFE is doing it as well. Our first trip was up to Norway. It was really our first chance to integrate with NATO fifth gen partners as well as additional allies. So it's nice to actually get over here, integrate with them, and fly in their home turf as opposed to them coming over to us. We've done a lot to support really much anything to do with maintenance, but personally, as a low observable, we've maintained and restored the stealth coatings of the F-22 Raptor. It's very rare that you get to work so closely with other shops and other professions, so it was just a great opportunity. I wanted to come out here and be a multitasker and just ask people what they do, how their day-to-day -day is, and learn what everyone else does and how they affect the mission. The last four months have been incredible. Seeing the team come together with support from numerous PACAF bases and USAFE to meet objectives from multiple COCOMs across multiple AORs, operating from two to three bases at the same time. It's been truly impressive to see, plus the phenomenal support from the Polish and the 32nd Tactical Air Base.